So G-Sync is addressing a fundamental problem that's uh, it's basically monitors are very, uh, have outdated technology. It's refreshing at a fixed rate, whereas GPUs refresh at a, a variable rate. Okay, so because of this mismatch, you see it when a monitor is refreshing it and the GPU sends a new frame and you get a new picture. So visually you see a tear that happens, right? Uh, some people try to prevent the tear with vSync and vSync basically says, I'll wait, I'll let the whole picture refresh before moving, before picture. moving on. But the GPU is still sending frames, right? So you effect effectively get skipped. You get the stuttering effect, right? Now with G-Sync, G-Sync is now synchronized. The monitor knows what's going on, right? The GPU syncs with the monitor. So you get a very silky smooth experience. You don't get tearing. And I mean, the pictures speak for themselves. And so we, we have a lot of people who are excited. We have uh, ASUS, BenQ, and ViewSonic so far. Um, that will be having G-Sync enabled monitors uh, in the future. We're also offering a, a do-it-yourself kit so that uh, if you want to get it right now, soon we'll have a do-it-yourself kit available for this particular monitor so you can change this non-G-Sync non monitor and have it G-Sync enabled. When is the G-Sync gonna be available to the consumers? Is that? It's whenever they decide to announce. Okay, okay. Um, but, but, the, but the tech is ready as far as the NVIDIA side. The tech is, we, we're already creating these, these uh, G-Sync modules that are ready to be, you know, uh, put into the, the monitors. So, but, but you haven't heard a date as far as, you know, when I can go, go get my monitor. So, no. Okay, no, I haven't. okay. If you had heard, would you tell me? <laughs> no, I actually don't know. I, so I, I, I can honestly say I don't know. <laughs> So, so we talked to we talked to the ASUS guys, and they yeah. said that the the G Sync monitors are going to be about a hundred bucks more than the non G Sync. So monitors. we haven't released any pricing on that. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And because of what I was going to ask is the Do It Yourself kit. Yeah. No, no pricing available. No pricing available. Okay. Right, so at this moment, yeah. I, was, I was trying to find the delta between yeah. how much should that how much should a, a, a user. So what what will the what will the user need? For the do-it-yourself, they would just need any standard. So no, they would need this this particular model oh, they would need because that. essentially we're 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 creating a custom board right. that swaps out the logic from gotcha. there and puts it in the back. Okay. Um, and so I'll be doing a a, a video uh, that shows you how to do it step by step. Right, but it's only for certain. It's only just for, this one. So just this ASUS monitor yeah. or the the partners. Or the partners, whatever they announce, whenever they announce. So, so, but it's basically a box that you, or not, basically an access that you would open up, it's in theory. It's, what, what, what do you mean? So if you had one of these monitors. Yeah, if you have this monitor it, and you buy the do-it-yourself kit, right. you open it up, you follow the directions on either, you know, print it out or on video, right. and you can put it in. No okay. soldering. Uh, it took me the first time about 25 minutes, okay. but now it can take me about like under the under that. Okay, and so it's, will that be will the G Sync have a special slot in the video card, or is just the straight HDMI? No, this or? is this is uh, the one in the interface. Yeah. Well, so right now for this particular model, it's Display Port. Okay. Connects to the Display Port of the 650 Ti okay. boost. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Um, in the future, it doesn't. It's not limited just to DisplayPort. Okay. But this is what we have. At okay. The moment. Okay. I was yeah. just wondering if, again, if, you know, there's no, there's no card that you have to buy. Anything, Kepler 650 Ti boost and above, above. you can do it. All okay. you need to do is just get the monitor. So, shifting gears just a little bit, um, because this is not just a, a gaming and a PC tech. This is, you know, they, you know, the partners have been talking about releasing this for consumer electronics. Yeah. Um, now, the set-top boxes that people have, like the cable boxes and the, and the satellite TV boxes, are you guys talking to those partners as well? To, to, to... I, I don't know that. Okay. I, I, I can't answer. But you see yeah. the ramifications, right? Because it looks you like, mean like it, it looks why like can't natural... you do it for TVs yeah, as it well? Exactly. Yeah, it looks I... like a natural progression. 
Okay. Uh, have, have you tried it on TV yet? Besides? Uh, I, I, I only focus on this monitor. Okay. So you just scroll left and right. No, See the stuttering. Yeah. yeah you're, gonna to, to, you're gonna have to explain to, it to like, yeah, yeah. Um, Will it work on Linux? Uh, does it, is it is it operating system dependent? Have you tried um, Linux or? Uh, uh, I don't have the software guide to, to tell me right now, okay. so I don't know. Uh, should I even uh, ask you about Apple then? The uh, iOS. Oh, I, I. Okay. It, it's driver enabled, so I'd have to get back to you on that. Of course, when the 4K monitors come out, I don't think this is 4K. This one's. This one's 1080. So, it's so 1080. essentially, the way we're approaching this is. The, it's, this is panel technology, right? right. The, we're not, we're the logic in the back. We're synchronizing it. So, you know, uh, we're not, it's not limited, right? So, so you think the tech can easily go over to a 4K monitor, which is just, just it's, a new it's, application? It's, it's a fundamental shift, and yeah, I wouldn't see why it can't. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Again, we, we, we haven't seen. You know, we saw the, the, the Tomb Raider demo. Yeah, yeah. And the, so we haven't really kind of seen it in the wild. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, by you doing what you just did, I'll, I'll get some more video as you're explaining it mm -hmm. to other people. Um, is that is that the easiest indicator that we can that we can see just the, the left right shift, or is there is there something else uh, that that that'll make the user go aha? I see the difference between, you know. Traditional. I mean, if you have, if you play FPS where those yeah. scene changes very quickly, right. you can definitely see it more, right? With VSync on versus VSync off, okay. right? Okay. So VSync off, you see, you'll see the tearing, right? With VSync off, you see that little stutter. Okay. So um, if I play, that's yeah. why with Tomb Raider, we we panned it left and right, right? right? With right. a joystick that right. gives you a smooth transition, right. and you could see the the chunkiness, right? Right. 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 Whereas with G Sync, it's super smooth. No tear. So cool, man. I, I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Let me hit you up. And so, is this your first BlizzCon? <laughs> it's my first BlizzCon. Yeah. Oh, first uh, uh, show. Congratulations and like, <laughs> <and> my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I gonna say anything? Where on Monday? <laughs> yeah. We get a call. Well, you, and you're gonna be working the floor until ten, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So after six, and seven o'clock, people get kind of crazy. Oh, oh, things get posted. Oh, oh yeah, things get posted, but yeah. then the crowd. You know, so you got the cosplay contest, and then all those cosplayers. Oh, oh you mean like it gets more. It gets crazy, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then of course there's the after the parties tonight, and yeah. looking forward so, to it. Is Nvidia hosting any parties this year? Not that I know. Of. They don't tell you. They don't tell you enough information. Uh, I don't. Yeah. They just throw you out here. Nah, on the I'm floor. just here, yeah, <laughs> helping out, trying to educate people about G-Sync. Um, no, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sure. Um,